Hey guys, welcome to post about the books, the book best, the best books I read in um, January and February. I know I kind of missed my January one, but to be honest, I don't have a ton of books on this list. I feel like I've been reading kind of a lot of mediocre books lately, but um, with that, I'll go ahead and start with January. Uh, there were four books that I read and really enjoyed in January. The first of those were The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine Arden. Um, I've really enjoyed everything I've read by Catherine Arden, and so I wasn't surprised when I really enjoyed this as well. Um, this is an interesting book about a girl who, well, a woman who joined, who journeys to the war front to try and find her brother and um, ends up getting involved in some very weird magical realism things. There's like a magical fiddle player and like interesting things. It was really well done. I really enjoyed it. And honestly, I would talk about it more, except for I just finished reading um, another book, Divine, <laughs> Divine Rituals, that I really liked that had a lot of similar themes and I don't want to mix them up in my head. So um, I'm just going to say The Warm Hands of Ghosts was very well done. If you like kind of historical fantasy set in, uh, I believe it's set in more of a World War One setting, which is, it's really nice. We're seeing a lot more historical fiction, historical fantasy set in World War One setting because World War Two. People write about it so much, and I know it's very important to remember that that war and what happened. But it's interesting to read some things in in World War One. All right, the next book I read in January and really enjoyed is Divinity Thirty Six, which um, is book one in a Tinkered. Perhaps Tinkered Star song written on here, but I think it's Tinkered Stars. Anyways, uh, by Gail Carriger. This is Carriger's. Uh, science fiction kind of cozy science fiction series um it is it does have a couple standalone books which is what I'm trying to say so before Divinity 36 was released there was a book called Crudrat and then another one called The Fifth Gender released they're set in the same world I have not read those yet I am just starting to read Crudrat um but I did finish this whole the Tinker Star Song series and I will <laughs> you will be hearing about more because I really really liked it so Divinity 36 Loved it. It's very much like a cozy science fiction. It's about a barista on a space station who gets called in to try to compete for godhood. And that means he'll join a pantheon of other singers and performers that will go around the universe and try to make people's lives better by performing their music. Uh, it's a very creative concept, very well done, and I really, really enjoyed it. So if you are interested in kind of some more maybe touchy-feely science fiction, there is some space travel and aliens and things like that in there. Um, there is a little bit of romance in the first book, and it does get a little bit more romance heavy as the series continues, but very much also about friendships and trying to, you know, coming of age, those kind of things. and and just space travel music fun things um i would definitely recommend it. it was a very good kind of cozy science fiction series and the first book and the third book were my favorites um in that series all right the third book i read and really enjoyed in january is the burning god which is the third book in the poppy war series by rf kwang and that is the final book in that series i really enjoyed this whole series i loved how gray in morality all the characters are there's a lot of action there are a lot of characters and it's a complicated plot but Kwong seems to handle this like effortlessly I never felt confused about who was who or about you know what was going on um very easy to follow really enjoyed this and a side note I also just finished Kwong's book Yellow Face I didn't like that as much um as I'm sitting here, the sun is like slowly starting to move over this way. So I'll just keep reading. And then the last book that I read and really enjoyed in January was A Tempest of Tea, uh, the first book in the Blood and Tea series by Hafsa Fazal. And hopefully I said that right. Um, this is kind of a historical fantasy slash paranormal book. It's got a little bit of kind of a almost the Ocean's Eleven like heist feel to it but it also has vampires and it's set in more of like a historical city. Um, really, really enjoyed this. I love the characters. I thought it was a lot of fun. There's a little bit of like a steampunk feel to some of it because they are building devices and doing different things. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and with that, <laughs> should be no surprise that I, I only had actually one book that I really read and enjoyed in February. As I said, I feel like I've been I've been going back and reading a lot of books that have been on my wish list for a while to read and it's been a lot of misses but 
I did read the final book in the Tinkered Stars series. See, I thought it was Tinkered Stars. Um, and that is Dome 6, and I loved it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic the way that whole series wrapped up and how much growth there was for the characters and how much we learned about the different alien races and the universe. Um, just very good. Very good world building, very good characters, very creative concept. And um, yeah, I really would recommend the Tinker Star series. So I am going back and I'm reading the two standalone books set in that world, Crud Rat and Fifth Gender. And I didn't mean for this to all be like a Gail Carriage or like go read her um, science fiction series, but it was really good. And, and that's it. It's a very, very short video. As I said, um, February was a very mediocre. I did read a lot of books. I just didn't read a lot of books that I really, really enjoyed. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will give a little bit of a life update because I know for my last deck in the shelves, it was pretty long because I had a lot of books get, to get through. Um, not a lot exciting going on with us. Um, we're still working on renovations in our house in Duluth. We are getting that to move along pretty well. We've had a little trouble getting people in to do work. Um, so like we need some electrical work done and then we're going to do a bigger renovation on the attic of the house. Um, and they've been pretty backed up. So people are coming out in April <laughs> to look at that, even though we started looking for people like in November. Um, so pretty backed up on getting just resources to do that kind of that kind of work. But we are getting a lot of work done in the house ourselves. So we're getting electrical upgraded, baseboards replaced, doors replaced, everything painted, floors refinished, and we're doing that all ourselves. And we have gotten the, the bedroom, the second bedroom's almost done in the hallway and the other bedroom are done. And then we only have the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room to go. <laughs> so um, yeah, well, and, and then the basement and then the attic. I mean, there's it's gonna be probably a few years of projects going on there, but um, we really wanted to get the bedrooms done so that everybody could just be real comfortable when we stay out there. Other than that, you know, my, my son is doing, um, Knowledge Bowl and they did get into regional. So he's actually going tonight when I record this, I'm not, I'm not recording this the day it posts, but it's on a Thursday and, uh, he's going to regionals. Um, he doesn't have a lot of hope that they're going to get into state, but very excited to be able to go to regionals with his team. Uh, you know, he's getting on there, getting ready to take ACT tests and in a few months, you know, we'll be applying for colleges and all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, very much going on with stuff. Um, other than that, me and my husband are working. My new job's been going better. Uh, there were some issues early on. It's It's been going better. There has been a big reorg that just went through. I feel like no matter where I work corporately, I can't get away from these reorgs. Uh, but yes, so it didn't affect me, but it did affect one of the groups I support. And, um, that is always a little bit sad because you keep running into people you find out are not going to be around anymore. Um, but yeah, we'll get through it. It's fine. So we, we did have the one attorney leave kind of suddenly. And then we went through a reorg like right after that. So there's a lot of confusion right now, but I think things are going to settle down probably in a couple months here and it'll be, it'll be a lot better. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. We are going to take a little week off for spring break, but we will be up at our house in Duluth working on it. And it's not going to be going anywhere particularly fun. And we knew that this year we were not planning any big trips. We we're just planning on kind of working on the house. And I apologize for the lighting. Like this started out okay, but now it's not. Um, are that, that's, you know, those were the books that I read and liked in, in January, February. So if you have any books that you read and really enjoyed in January, February or whenever, please feel free to comment down below. I always like to hear what people are reading and uh, I will talk to you guys uh, probably in a few weeks for another stack in the show. Talk to you later. Bye.